Now, this is a hard thing to accept, but what you choose to do in light of that reality is something that you'll need to pause to consider. Welcome to Mother Daughter Connections, the show dedicated to educating, encouraging, and equipping moms to build lasting, meaningful connections with their daughters. I'm your host and mother daughter relationship personal trainer, Dr. Michelle Deering. My heart is to be of help to you. I believe that your relationship with your mom is the foundation for your future success, personally, parentally, and professionally. Now remember, even though I'm a licensed psychologist, I'm not your shrink on this show. I am, however, here to share my opinions and those of my guests. If you have concerns about your mental health, please seek services from a mental health provider in your local area. Now join me as we pause to consider today's topic. You know, this motherhood journey is a marathon, not a sprint. And the terrain of motherhood has many ups and downs and rough and smooth places. Now, I've been thinking about how the best marathoners have succeeded in their races because they've gotten personalized input from a coach or a trainer who's been there and done that using proven researched methods. So for motherhood, why not follow their example? If you're a newbie mom or a mom in the trenches or even a seasoned mom in the marathon that is motherhood, working with a coach or a personal trainer who's been there and done that well will not only prepare you for the terrain ahead, but will also help you do what you need to do now to be the best mom you can be for your daughter. That's why I'm offering you my Motherhood Mastery Mentoring Program. Drawing upon my sports psychology training to address having an optimal mom mindset, the Motherhood Mastery Mentoring Program is designed to give you personalized and practical tools, strategies, research, evidence-based approaches that will help you connect confidently with your daughter instead of contributing to conflict. Hear and be heard by your daughter instead of having heartache and communicate more clearly instead of constantly circling around issues. So if you're tired of tensions or you're wanting to be prepared for the next stages or you're committed to continuous improvement or you're just longing for change in your mother-daughter relationship, then apply today. I'm opening up just seven slots for new mentees. So grab your spot by going to bitbit.ly backslash motherhood mentor. That's bit.ly backslash motherhood mentor. The small application fee will be deducted from the cost of the program. Again, that's bit, B-I-T dot L-Y backslash motherhood mentor. I look forward to working with you. Now, let's hop in to today's episode. Well, hi there and welcome. I am so excited that you're here with me today and so appreciative of the time that you and I get to spend together. Well, today I want to share with you the kinds of questions I've been receiving as a result of my Daughter Talk survey. Now, the Daughter Talk survey is part of a month-long season where I actually shared a link with you so that you could fill out an open-ended form where you could ask me anything regarding your mother-daughter relationship, and I'd give you an answer on air in an upcoming episode (laughs) like this one. Now, thank you. Thank you, thank you to those of you who opened up and shared your heart's concerns, I am so, so appreciative of your trust. And I know that other moms in our community are going to benefit from your being really vulnerable with me in this way. It's a sacred space that I take seriously in providing you with support, encouragement, and direction. Now, respecting everyone's privacy, I'm going to read one mom's question using a pseudonym that best represents all of the inquiries around that particular topic and then offer some suggestions first for the moms uh, who identify with that, as well as then offer some suggestions for their daughter. So with that said, let's jump into one such theme that's come up a lot, but I'm going to start off by reading the question that this mom asked. She wrote, Dear Dr. Deering, I'm a mom of two grown daughters. My parenting skills over the years, especially early on, had some holes and blind spots. I wanted desperately to be a good mom, but was not good at connections. This has resulted in my now being on the outs with both of them. Both my daughters have very different lifestyles that have led them down different financial paths that have had them at odds with each other. I love both my daughters, and I want a better relationship with them. 
I'm at a loss for how to handle it all. What should I do? Sincerely, Charlotte. Now, there are many moms who've come to me like Charlotte. These seasoned moms, I don't like using the word senior. Seasoned, I think, is more appropriate. These seasoned moms feel regret for what they've not done in the past, and they feel torn when there are rifts between their children. Well, today I'm going to address the regret part that Charlotte expressed in her question to me. Now, if you're a mom who's seasoned like Charlotte, I want you to know that I hear you and I feel the pain in your heart. It's real, it's valid, and it's understandable. And there are three things that you need to know and be aware of in the midst of all of that. The first thing is that you cannot let the pain paralyze and prevent you from taking action. You know, pain is something that all of us shy away from because it's, well, painful, right? But pain can also be an indicator that there's something that needs our attention so that it can be addressed in some way, shape, or form by the next action that we take. The second thing that you need to be aware of is that in light of being aware of the pain, and you've heard me say this before, if you've been listening to me for a long time, or if you just hang around me, or if you're just new, one of the things I always talk to my moms about, and I really emphasize, is that it's really important to pause to consider the body of your behavior when it comes to your mother-daughter relationship. And therefore, it's important to let the pain pause you to consider what's been going on in you on your end that has contributed to your current state with your daughter. That's the second thing, okay? Now, the third thing that you need to know and understand is that once you've identified whatever has contributed to your current state with your daughter, then your best next step is to apologize to your daughter. Now, there are ways in which people apologize. I found over the last 25 years of working with moms that there's a certain way to apologize that increases the likelihood of you laying the groundwork for a foundation of newness and transformation in your relationship. And for tips on how to do that, I've made a free PDF for you. Just go to the URL bitbit.ly backslash apologize to your daughter. Again, that URL is bitbit.ly backslash apologize to your daughter. Now, for those of you who are either young adults or adult daughters, know that I hear you and understand your pain. I've been there. It's a pain that you've had to live with for a long time. And there are three things that you need to know and understand in the midst of all of that. The first thing is that your pain, the hurt that you're feeling, is real and it is valid. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The things that your mom did ought not to have happened that way or at all. The things that your mom didn't do would have been nice and better if they did happen. And I really wish they had happened, as I'm sure you do too. The second thing that I want you to know is that in light of your pain and hurt, if you haven't already, you need to come to terms with the possibility that at this point in time, your mom may not be in a place, space, or state to fully own up to the impact of her actions or inactions. Now, this is a hard thing to accept, but what you choose to do in light of that reality is something that you'll need to pause to consider and then get support and strategies that will promote health and wholeness for you first. Why? Because you matter in all of this, daughter. That's my heart for you, is to reach a place of wholeness and health, starting with you. The third thing that I really want you to understand and know in light of all of this is that if in the chance that your mom has owned up to, or at least some, if not all, of her actions or inactions, and she comes or reaches out to you with an apology, I know 
that you know best whether or not she is being sincere. And with that said, do know that any attempt on her part to apologize puts her in a vulnerable position, which will be kind of like new ground for her to stand on. So she may come at it a little shaky and kind of fumble through expressing an apology to you. My hope, though, is that you will hear her heart while also guarding your heart. And if you'd like some help with that, just schedule a quick microsolutions call with me to learn more about how I can help you with that. Just go to the URL bitbit.ly backslash microsolutions call. It's a free call. I'd be happy to just hear you out and offer you some solutions. So Charlotte, thank you so much for sending the questions and for the Charlottes out there who wrote similar types of questions to me. Thank you for expressing your thoughts and your feelings and your situation and your questions about what's going on. I've shared my thoughts with you when it comes to a seasoned mom experiencing feelings of regret and when it comes to her adult daughters who have been living with the outcome and aftermath of it all. Next week, I want to address the second part of Charlotte's situation where it deals with daughters who are at odds with each other. In the meantime, would you do me and this community a favor and go to the review section of your podcast platform, click on the five stars and write just a short shout out or review of the episode. Remember, this podcast is a free resource to you. That's my heart. And one of the ways that you can pay it forward is by leaving a review. The way the algorithm works, it helps other moms get that notice that this podcast episode has come up for them. I've actually had moms reach out to me and tell me that when they woke up in the morning and they opened up their smartphone, that there was the, uh, the episode that really touched them. I've had that happen so many times. So definitely, I want you as part of this community to just have a place where you can express yourself, know that you're heard, receive encouragement through this resource. So definitely fill out the five stars, leave a review. I'd greatly appreciate it. I am so glad that you took time to spend it here with me today. Know that I am always honored to be on this not only motherhood journey with you, but also this mother-daughter relationship journey with you. Be encouraged. Healthy mother-daughter relationships are possible. They just take one connection at a time. I'll see you next week. You've been listening to Mother Daughter Connections with me, your host and mother daughter relationship personal trainer, Dr. Michelle Deering. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Share this episode with a friend so they don't miss an episode. And download the resource in the show notes. Until next time, remember to pause to consider how you can connect intentionally so you can improve relationally with your daughter.